Hello, hello. Welcome back. It's Thursday already. Oh my god. <laughs> this week feels like it's been flying by. At least because I haven't been napping as much lately. So I've actually been awake for most of this week. <laughs> but anyway, here we are again. I think we're gonna finish Silent Hill Homecoming tonight. But knock on wood. <laughs> Wouldn't it be just my luck to get stuck or run into another crash? But we're going to cross our fingies and toes. And hopefully it won't. <laughs> Let's see. Last we left off, we were in the prison, I think. Pretty close to the end. Let's pause the music and jump into it. Alrighty, and once again, I can't all tab out of this game once I'm in, so... <laughs> oh, and we have like a 50-50 shot of the impacts being broken. Alright, fingers crossed that nothing is too broken. Only one way to find out, though. We gotta actually try to hit something. Watch for the cloud of dust. I haven't been looking for the cloud of dust when I've tried to jump up. Hmm. I'll have to try and watch out for that then. Keyword is try. <sighs> I say I haven't napped that much this week, but I did nap today. Nice two and a half hour ish nap. Oh, hey Blair. How's life treating me? Life's treating me all right. Got a little bit of sleep today. I think we're going to finish yet another game. That would be so wild if we got to beat two or even three games this week. <laughs> How are you? How's your Thursday? Let's see. I think we came up the stairs. Wait, I have a map, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're going this way. It sounded like... It sounded like my name, Alex. Oh. Wheeler, you there? Listen, this door is jammed. I need your help. Okay. I what flavor the... jam? That's the entrance to the A block. Okay, go back. Oh, okay. We're going back. Hey, I hope you're having a great Thursday night so far. I was saying how I can't believe it's Thursday already. Pretty good so far, just chilling and finish some new stream assets. Ooh, that's cool. What kind of stream assets? I was working on my new uh, schedule layout today. Is that where I'm supposed to be? It won't budge. So trying to get to A block. That's definitely not gonna open. Star screens and backgrounds? Cool. That's so exciting. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way then. Wait, that's so always so exciting to work on new stuff. Am I not supposed to be here? This is where I came from. You said go back. Go back where? I'm already, already getting turned around. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Go through that door, head down the hall, and go right. You're in A block now. Go across and fill the doors. 
I'll let you know. Hey, who needs maps when I have Wheeler telling me exactly where I need to go? Oh, but I can't... No supplies. Oh, I also... I was looking back at, a uh, The VOD from last time. And I noticed something that I missed in the, uh... It was, like, the boiler room. So after we get out of the prison, I'm gonna hope to try and... Backtrack a little bit there. To try and grab what I missed. Okay, Wheeler. I found the keypad, but it looks broken. I'm gonna search for a way to fix it. Alex, are you a, are, are you an electrician? How would you be able to fix it? Well, luckily I think oh, another jam door. Hope it's strawberry. Hopefully it's just a matter of turning the power on. So what spooky games have you been playing, Blair? On this, uh, spookiest of Octobers. Oh, almost missed that. Ooh, I see a wire puzzle. That looks like it's missing wires. So let's look for some wires. Can't be that hard looking for two wires in a giant prison. <laughs> Wait a minute. This gate isn't going to move. Ever. Oh, final. <laughs> There's some tools here. Looks like someone was making repairs but ran out of time. There's a spare bit of wire inside the toolkit. We got one wire. But I would assume we need more. Like, I'm not even trying to be quiet. <laughs> I'm just slamming the door open. radio, but it's malfunctioning. I'll take that, yoink. Let's see. Do I need one more wire? June 2016, sampled the four Dreadx collections, Master Reboot, Inscription Oregon Trail, and Darkest Dungeon. Nice! How'd you like the, uh, the, the four Dreadx collections? Were they good? Were, like, all of them good? Item cannot be used here. Yes, it can. There we go. I think I still need one more wire, though. I'm seeing a gap there. Hmm. Where would the last wire be? Yep, missing one wire. I guess I'll drop down. And Doom, Doom 2016 is always good. Oh, can I get in there from here? Ah, I can squeeze in. Wire! That light is broken. Looks like the wire is exposed. Alright. Alright, let's go do that puzzle. Also, inscription origin, origin, <laughs> Oregon Trail. That sounds different. <clears throat> that sounds like it's a uh, like totally different from the traditional Oregon Trail I would think of. Is it? Connections. All right. They were all pretty damn good. That's impressive. Usually with a like an anthology. You expect one to maybe not be as good. But that's awesome. That none of them were disappointing. Right, let's put the, the noodles in order. Just to get a good starting point. I 
be click. There we go. So what is our... Oh, it's a zombie version. Zombie Oregon Trail? <laughs> that sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Can I test? Let me click. There we go. Okay, so only one of them is right. Let's just swap. Oh, two. I'll swap these. Help. Oh. Put that back. We'll swap yellow and red. Oh! Okay, so then... Maybe blue is right, but we'll swap blue and green just to see what happens. that back there. Maybe red and white. Well, that moved them over, didn't it? Red X had one game that was kind of unstable, to say the least. Oregon Trail started as a mod for the educational game that later became its own game. Oh, wow. Really cool then. Okay, we're at three again. Hmm. Maybe yellow and white? Oh no, that's worse. Okay, we're at three again. I don't know if there's like an optimal way to solve this puzzle, aside from just kind of winging it. But winging it seems to be just fine. <laughs> Alright. I think we can just drop down, right? Now we can open these doors. Specifically, I saw a note in this one. If anyone finds this note, I can help you access the gateway to your freedom. But to escape your fate, you must first visit solitary confinement. Prisoner number 110391. I bet that's the code to that door. And then, we'll pull this one. That open. This one? No, I think it opened one upstairs. Let's go check that. <clears throat> Which? When did it open? Why is I think I see something over there. But I don't think I can get there from here. What door did it open? I see something over there. Hmm. Oh, maybe I could check the map? A... 13? It's stuck for good. 
Hmm. I don't see which gate opened. Which is weird. I definitely can't reach any of those doors. Hmm. I feel like it was supposed to be that door, but it's not open. Unless it's a bug. I bet it's a bug. I bet it was supposed to be that door. Yeah, I bet it was supposed to be that one. Alright, so I think we need to go back down to that keypad then. This one. And it is lit up. I think. Let's see. How do I access my notes? I know there must be a button for it. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh. Inventory. Maybe there isn't. Oh, wait. Journal, right there. Duh. 110391. Bingo. All right, Wheeler. I made it in. I'm gonna look around. Just realize I'm still wielding the knife, and I should swap to the crowbar. Oh. It's our mom. Jesus, what did they do? Alex. It's not you. Mom, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna get you down. Uh. I'm sorry, Alex. Shh. It's okay. Only choose one. Stop. Save your breath. I don't know. She's saying some 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 of the important things, Alex. I can't. It hurts so much. Make it stop. Mom, I. So we have to make a choice here. Well, I don't think that we can take her down from there. So maybe we should do what she wants and be merciful. All right, I'll do it.
Poor Alex. Oh, God. Oh, that would have been terrible if she had lived through that. Well, now we're in the slightly scarier, bloodier, rustier prison. Why did I shoot her? I could have tried to save her. I don't know, man. I don't know if you would have had enough time to get up there and unshackle her. It's all my fault. No, no, Alex, I think, uh... I think that was the more merciful choice. As horribly depressing as it is. But we did learn... We did learn one piece of information from her. That she did love us. That she did love Alex, but someone told her that she could only choose one. Hmm. Well. Oh, that looks gross. Oh boy, flesh pillar. Wait, that means something else, doesn't it? I mean, that's literally what it is. Do I have to reach inside there? Oh. Hey, Quinn. I have arrived for that amazing Lucy. Positive vibes. <laughs> well, man, you just missed the saddest of vibes. We had to, uh, shoot our mom. But to be fair, it was a, a mercy kill, because she was about to be, uh, torturously pulled apart anyway. So at least she didn't have to live through that horrible pain. But now it seems like it's puzzle time. How are you doing, Quinn? How's your Thursday? Andre. Wait, do I have a water with me? I do not. Hold on. I'll grab one. Model's gonna get a bit wonky for a second. Watch her. Has been acquired. There we go. Re seeing myself. Moving my, my mic over a little bit. There we go. Alright. What man loves more than life be what man loves more than life, fears more than death, the mortal strife. What poor men have, the rich acquire, and all contented men desire. What misers spend and the wastrels save. Each man carries to his grave. Hmm. Just got them playing some Pokemon Unite with Black Cat. Now I'm chilling. Nice! I hope you had lots of fun. Did you win? <laughs> hmm. Man loves more than life. Fears more than death. Foreman have rich acquire. Miser spend. Each man carries to his grave. Money? 
over time, maybe? We'll click to rotate. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Loves more than life. Fears more than death. Foreman have rich acquire. I'm thinking it might be time. At, just out of these options, at least. We won some? Nice! Money, you think? Money's the other one I was thinking of, too. The only part that doesn't make as sense- as much sense is a... Fearing money? Each man carries to his grave. Money does make- ah, it's the, That's the only part that doesn't make as much sense, is the fearing money. Hey, Cabal! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome! The man who devised it does not want it. The man who bought it does not use it. The man who used it does not realize it. Well, that's easy. A coffin. I've heard that one before. Hanging in there? That's all we can ever really do. <laughs> Hopefully you're hanging in there really well, though. I stand beside the holy man. The monarchs fear my wrath. None may move the way I can, ever the crooked path. Stand beside the holy man. Oh, chess pieces. Uh, so what's next to the bishop? The knight, I think? I assume the, the bishop would be the holy man. Which I mean, I think means the knight. Because the knight also walks a crooked path. Each man take a fortune to their grave inheritance. Yeah, so... Yeah, we'll go with money. Uh... Is there any way we could save it just in case we're horribly wrong? <laughs> I don't know what it'll do if we're wrong. I don't, I don't see a save point. Yeah, can't even leave the room. All right, we'll, 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 we'll try it. I don't think that was the right answer. Oh, they punished us by throwing an enemy at us. <laughs> okay, fair enough, game. Ow. Hey, Meg. How are you doing, Meg? We're glad you're alive. Alright, so I think I'm gonna swap this back to time. I think the other ones are right, though. What the fuck is that? <laughs> It's a it's a knife monster with a look at its cute little little uh beady eyes the the voids in its face Let's try or are you talking about the giant flesh pillar? I don't know how else to describe it because that's what it is. Those aren't eyes, those are holes. <laughs> they're they're kinda look at they're shiny. They're like they're like shiny, beady little eyes. Like... Like buttons. Alright. Fingers crossed. Oh. Never mind, I think that was also wrong. Oh, yep. Ah! Camera's getting stuck all over the place. I like how you don't even have to actually hit them. You just... <laughs> just hit them and dodge long enough until you just finish them off. Alright, so... In love's more than life, fears more than death, mortal strife. Foreman have the rich acquire, all contented men desire. 
Miser spend and wastrel save each man carries to his grave. I'm not sure what this stands for. That's like an omega symbol, right? Does that mean like luck or something? And then coffin I still think is right. Stand beside the holy man. Monarchs fear my wrath. None may move the way I can, ever the crooked path. It's been that long since I've played chess. So I'm pretty sure that means it's the night. <laughs> Grandmother's a weird fucking spider outside. <laughs> Something's wrong with this fucking spider, ma. <laughs> It's, it's missing a few legs to be considered a spider, though. <laughs> Ma looks like fucking grandma. I love that video. <laughs> that fucking cat. <laughs> Read the money one out again? Okay. What man loves more than life fears more than death or mortal strife. What poor men have, the rich acquire, and all contented men desire. What misers spend and the wastrel save, and each man carries to his grave. <laughs> omega symbol, obviously. Oh, stands. Oh no, obviously stands for Omega verse. I hope not. <laughs> it's that fear part. You're right! It's nothing! As soon as you said it, I was like, wait, yeah, there's a blank spot. The answer's nothing. You're totally right. Genius. Nice, Quinn. Now what horrible thing did we unleash? A stupid fucking answer. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. What man loves more than life? Nothing. Fears more than death or mortal strife? Nothing. What poor men have, the rich acquire. That's the only part that's like, like the rich acquire nothing? All contented men desire... Well, yeah, if you're contented, you don't desire anything. But miser spend... Nothing. The waste will save, nothing. Each man carries to his grave. I mean, technically... Eh. I mean, I guess in a literal sense. Now you know why Cece calls me Big Brain. <laughs> Truly Galaxy Brain. The old Silent Hill tradition of... Dropping down into mysterious holes. But Alex has got calves of steel. Oh, it's just Wheeler. The roaches are what you're afraid of? Couldn't save our mom, but we can go say though. Also, love how Wheeler's reaction to, yeah, uh, my mom's dead was, wow, that sucks, Alex. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, here's more bad news. <laughs> Nathan, explosion. We have gifted you Blacker's most metalish gift of all. Nothing. <laughs> what man loves more than life? Omega verse. What man fears more than death? Omega verse. <laughs> Maybe you're right about that one, Meg. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Yeah, basically the equivalent to that. <laughs> like, man, Alex. Yeah, that sucks, bro. Yeah, that's real- that's real sad. But at least he somehow managed to live. 
and uh, meet back up with us. Won't budge. Okay. I figured it wouldn't. God, the prison... Oh. That won't budge either. Is there a hole somewhere? Oh, there we go. This prison feels more like a giant submarine or something. Oh, but that looks... That looks kind of cool. Oh, that is kind of cool looking. Oh, we're just in the middle of a... a void. God, where the hell are we? I don't know, Wheeler, but we have to keep moving. We're nowhere. Nowhere is a place in Silent Hill, technically. As we go there a couple times in the games. At least in one and two, we end up in nowhere. I don't know if this place uh, exactly counts as nowhere. Oh boy, two. Oh, but Wheeler's got a gun. Wheeler's got a gun. We go there the most in three. Did he finish them off? Nice. Yeah, I think I... I think I remember that from three. So yeah, this if this place is like in the middle of this void, that makes me think maybe we're in nowhere. No one's also a place in Silent Hill Omega Burst. <laughs> I mean... This place is pretty cursed. It would make sense. Oh, I didn't like the look of that door in there. Quick. You get her loose before they start pumping the gas. I'll shut off the valves. Oh, thank God. How did you find me? We don't have time to talk. I've got to get you out of here. I guess Judge Holloway was kidnapped too. Else. L, where is she? Is she okay? I don't know. I'll find her though. I promise. She said she took this from you, so I, I guess you should have it back. This isn't mine. It belonged to Nora. Nora. They turn on the gas. Oh, come on, Wheeler. You can't die. We've kept you alive so long. Oh, that is a very TOS unfriendly door. Oh, I I don't trust her. Do you see that smile? I think she lured us in here. At least it sounds like Wheeler's not dead. He's being kidnapped. Again. It's the human centipede, but tall. With a booty. Oh, I should heal. Good thing I have so many health drinks. Holy crap. One more. I did like a backwards flip. Wait a minute, I have a gun. Ow, stop hitting me! Let me walk away. Get up. Stop stun locking me! Let me get up. Oh my god! <laughs> it won't let me get up! <laughs> Holy shit. Let me get the hell up. 
Oh my god. I finally got away from that thing. Jeez, um... It's so fast. Reload, reload, reload faster! Uh, I'm hit hitting stuff. Hey, a budgie. Yeah, we're fighting the human centipede. It is very tall and very stunlocky. Um, run, run, run! I gotta switch. Even know if I'm pressing the right buttons for it to drop me. <laughs> Just spamming. Oh, I'm out. No, don't try. <laughs> I didn't just try to melee that thing with a not without an actual melee weapon. doing damage to it at this point? Oh, there we go. Just had to smack its butt real quick. Jeez. That thing was tough. Wait, Josh. Time to go chase Josh. Wait, where'd it go? It just dissolve into the ground. <laughs> that, that works. Hey, Budgie. How's your Thursday? How are you doing? <laughs> you showed up just in time to watch me fight the actual human centipede. So if that was... <gasps> no! Oh my god, it crashed! No! Oh my god, we're gonna have to fight that again. Oh, please don't be another thing like with the- with Scarlet. Oh no! Come on, game, you've been working so well up to this point. <laughs> it, it wouldn't even load my save? What the- f <laughs> What? Game, come on. If it refuses to work, I do have a backup. Uh oh. <laughs> hey yo, hey Nebble. The big creesh. <laughs> How you doing, Nebble? We are attempting to reload our game after it crashed, not once, but twice. The game might be borked. But we made it so far. We tried so hard and we got so far. But in the end, maybe it didn't even matter. Will any of our saves load? No. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, the game has decided we're not playing it anymore. <laughs> oh my god. That's... Hmm. Well, that sucks. I'll try one more time. <gasps> Fucking big, big oof. <laughs> oh man. Did you revert the save in the files? Like, this is my only 
My only save that's close. But it seems like not even my really old save is working. Killing spree. Ah. Dang it. Silent Hill, why you have to break my streak? We were going to beat another game tonight. Oh, damn. Okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's literally my mood right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I guess we're going to have to do a backup then. Good thing I already have Layers of Fear 2 installed. So why don't we just do that? <laughs> oh, man. Y'all down for some layers of fear too? <laughs> I love that sound too. It's it's such a mood. This is seem like a fucking emulated version. This is the official game. Oh yeah, it's such a bad port game though. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> literally, literally the game is over. Let's see. Got to come up with a new title now. Um let's see. What is layers of two layer layers of two layers of fear two, even? It's about a boat. We're on a boat. Onion boat with layers of fear. Layers of two fear. <laughs> Onion boat. I'm I'm sticking with that. <laughs> okay. And then this is a first playthrough because I have never played this one. First playthrough. Done. <laughs> Onion boat. Layers of fear too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Elect layers of fear to electric skidoo. All right. Hopefully this game won't crash. I say knocking real hard on the wood. Knock knock. I'm gonna have to fix all the audio mixing and stuff too, which I do that right now. Game, why do you have to recapture my mouse now? Lower this down a little bit. Binaural audio. Ooh. So yeah, this game is going to be completely fresh for me. Blue skidoo, we can too. <laughs> a type of aquatic vehicle? I didn't know it was an actual thing. Let me check my settings really quick. Oh, we're in borderless window. That's probably fine. Quality high. High, full. No motion blur. Screw that. Hate motion blur. Subtitles on. Head bob. I think it's safe mode. Oh, this should be fine. Let's go! Normal mode. Monsters can kill you. The game was originally designed this way. Oh! So safe mode is like... Monsters are still there, but they won't chase or kill you. Well, let's go with normal mode. So yeah, I have no idea what to expect with this game. But I did 
thoroughly enjoy Layers of Fear 1, so... They're just already throwing us onto the boat. Who said I empty a screenshot of an image search of Skidoo? Oh boy. <laughs> when you image searched it, did you get mostly uh, Blue's Clues pictures? A tree house. With very deep roots. I don't think this boat is in good shape. Can we... Can't open any of these doors. I want a Blue's Clues emote at some point when I reach affiliate in 200 years. Oh, hopefully it won't be 200 years, Meg. We need to get you to affiliate. I want to see what cool emotes you'll have. Press and move to open the door. Oh! Hi, Nether Strike! <gasps> Hi, Raiders! Hello, hello! Portals to the Void are opening. Incoming raid from the Legion. Cheers and glory to your stream. <laughs> hello, hello! Jack the Wise. Armored Tech. Thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome! Can we get a shout out? Oh, yeah, what do you got? <laughs> You're on it, Meg. <laughs> we were playing art. What kind of art were you making? We were gonna play, uh, we were in the middle of playing Silent Hill Homecoming, but we ran into a major crash that I think is preventing us from loading our saves. So we have jumped over to Layers of Fear 2, which is my first playthrough. I really love the first game, so uh, we'll see what the second game has in store for us. Oh. Someone always gets me. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you for the biddies trial by gunfire. <laughs> Aya was designing an emote based off of me in a maid outfit. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was good timing. Well, we can open doors now. <laughs> that's super cool. Been doing well with the timing tonight. Something's happening. A worthy tribute, minion. Oh. Thank you for the biddies! <laughs> Act 1. The Unmooring. I remember Vampy Vena raiding you, so I wanted to send the love to you. Oh, thank you! I love Vampy! I heard that knocking sound over a million times. What scared me the most was that it was only one knock. When the others, it's usually like four. Yeah, there's another one that plays it in both ears, too. There's like so many variations, so you never know <laughs> when it's gonna stop. What happened? <laughs> yeah, Vampy's raid was amazing. Like toys. Ah, I'm an actor. And I must act. One neat thing I do remember, because I saw I saw a panel at PAX East where they were, uh, where Bluebird was talking about this game, and the guy that does the voice for uh, I'm not sure what this character is the the voice. It's the same dude from uh, Candyman. I'm pretty sure. It's been years since I saw that panel, but I'm pretty sure that was right. Hope you're doing well today. I hope you're doing awesome too! I hope everyone's having a great Thursday. And yeah, we had to switch gears from Silent Hill again. <laughs> but hopefully this game will be an experience that's worth it. Stretch and hydrate. Don't mind if I do. Everyone should hydrate as well. Water is good for you. In a stretch. 
<clears throat> all right. Let's see. Hope you settled in all right. Remember what we talked about. Focus on what you do best. Go to that special place of yours. Find your motivation. Build the character. Trust me, it'll be worth it. I'll try to keep in touch. Travel safe. Your friend and agent. Build the character. Connect the memories. Dreams and fears. Prepare for the big role. What's our big role, though? I guess I'll press the thing. Oh, there's a crank. Oh, maybe I need to put uh, photos in there. Love your avatar, by the way. Thank you! Oh, I appreciate that. I made it myself. We can waste water in this game. I mean, we're on a boat. Turn on all of the water. What's that soap made out of? It's like bronze. Okay, we can't leave. Can we go up? We can. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is one out of... uh. Two and a half. I, I say two and a half because I'm working on a, a third model that I'm still in the middle of rigging. And then I have my, my bat model for Saturday. Saturday batter day. Oh, we can zoom. What are we zooming in on, though? I don't think I see anything. Is this a totally different story from the first one? Yes! We're a totally different character. We are an actor. As opposed to an artist like we were in the first game. Water, water everywhere. Nor any drop to drink. Oh! That's such a neat emote! That's so cute! That's really well done. Esteemed Traveler, the room has been set up per your request. The reel was delivered shortly before departure. We wish you a fulfilling journey. Respectfully, Icarus Transatlantic. I guess that must be the reel. It's a very fancy looking reel. Oh, that's just the case. <laughs> And then... I always hate looking into binoculars or telescopes, especially in horror games. Yeah, I mean, you never know what's going to be on the other side looking back at you, right? <laughs> or like, uh, like peepholes on doors and stuff. Name Icarus Transatlantic doesn't bode well for some reason. We are flying this bad boy directly into the sun. Yep, we're going to sail right into the sun. And explode. <laughs> at least that's the expectation I'm getting now. observes the others, while the others watch him. He's expected to behave properly, wandering through Dear. worlds that aren't really there. He puts on masks and adjusts accordingly. Each mask is a character, each character a layer. Layers upon layers, calling out to him. He must build the character he was meant to portray. Or lose himself. Completely. Submerged. Tightly surrounded by lives he's never lived. And yet, he stands on a stage where every man 
must play a part. And his is a sad one. Hmm. So the layers in this case are referring more... The unmooring. So the layers are referring to the layers of character around this guy's uh, acting? Never played Layers of Fear. What's the premise of the game? All the layers are fruit of cake. <laughs> hey, Sam. <laughs> well, the first game was a completely different story from this one, so I'm not quite sure what this one's going to be about. Aside from the premise that we're an actor on a boat. But in the first game, we were uh, a tortured artist that was trapped in a, a never-ending loop in our mind where we were trying to uh, forgive ourselves for the... Basically, our terrible relationship with our wife and daughter. And I'm not sure what the demons, uh, what inner demons this this protagonist has, but I guess we'll find out. But yeah, in that game, we had to finish a painting that would basically show whether or not he had learned to to move on and forgive himself, or if he had become trapped in his own delusions. Was this the guy who made the flesh me? Yeah, Flesh Mingo Guy was the first one. Build the character. Preparation. Explore. Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? Where am I? I'm just thinking of that... <laughs> Which Neil Breen movie was it? Double Down? <laughs> This wasn't what the outside of this room looked like before. Oh yeah, Layers of Fear is also kind of a, a trippy mindfuck. At least the first one definitely was. A lot of, like, changing hallways and uh, doors that lead nowhere and a lot of trippy visuals. <laughs> Layers of Gruyere. <laughs> Team Traveler, as per the director's request, this section of the ship has been closed off to all passengers and crew. Wish you a pleasant and fulfilling day, Icarus Transatlantic. At least the food's not rotten. All the food in Layers of Fear 1 was all rotten and gross. But I, I could eat one of those pears. Those pears look good. Oh my god, that onk. <laughs> oh my god. That's cute, though. Your whispers. Can I read that newspaper? I don't know what the... Der... Is that German? Wilson takes office today as 28th president. Well, that gives us a, a time frame, at least. What if they're plastic? Oh, plastic pears. Ah, oh, how misleading. Oh yeah, Sam, how are you doing? Forgot to ask. How's your Thursday? So another thing was in the first layers of fear, there weren't really enemies per se or like monsters. There was the one ghost of your uh, your wife wandering around. But she never, like, chased you, per se. You, like, always had the option to to go toward her. Or to reject her and just ignore her completely. But this game straight off the bat warned me that there are monsters that will chase me. Because I chose normal mode. So, I have no idea what to expect. There was no plastic back in 1900. Plastic pear is my favorite. Oh yeah, there could, it could have been wax. Wax fruit is definitely a thing. Do you like to wax fruits? What did you get in the original Layers of Fear? So, I had actually 100%ed the game beforehand, but that was years ago. During my playthrough, I got the, uh, the one where you follow all the rats. So I got the ending where, uh, he ended up forgiving himself and finishing his, uh, self-portrait and hanging it up in a museum. Which is his happiest ending. Yeah, wax does make more sense. 
Listen, once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. Gotta build the character. That's our... Our quest here, I guess? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Following the rest gives you the best ending? Yes, Meg. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the rats are helping you all along. Love that for me. <laughs> oh, what a view. You know, I've never actually been on, like, a boat this big. I've been on, like, little tiny boats... Or, like, uh, kayaks and stuff. I've never been on, like, a cruise ship or uh, a big boat like this. Oh, it opens this way. Follow Meg for the best ending. Yeah, we, we uh, had chosen to reject wife, choose rat. And that led us to our, uh, finally finding fulfillment in life again. Inspiration. Yeah, yeah. I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. Oh, it's French. I think. Oh no, there's a French restaurant on the boat. Guarantee of a swift and comfortable journey. It's a big boat. Follow me on Twitch, you won't get the best ending. <laughs> That's a clever way to advertise yourself, though. Oh, that's locked. Well, only one way to go. Into the elevator. Reject wife, follow rat. Oh. Uh. Hello? Oh, okay. What was that about? this luggage all third class passengers this way please did you check the lower decks this time I swear to God if we find any stowaways again you'll never set foot on a ship again damn well I don't think we're stowaways because we seem to have been uh, explicitly invited Wait. Strike the knob. Wait, that's a fire extinguisher? I thought... It's a cone. I rejected wife, but no rat has appeared for me. Today's your lucky day, because I have appeared right here. <laughs> oh, am I frozen? Oh, I'm unfrozen. Rats are bad at typing. You got such tiny, tiny little hands. You gotta reach so far to hit each letter. I don't think there's anything else in here. I don't see any other doors. Oh, but that's a long hallway. The ship groaning? This door opens. I don't like the lights flickering. It makes me think that something's about to appear. In an unprecedented hello. move. Oh! Hello! 
Faceless Melancholy. Oh, that's a lovely name. Hello there. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good Thursday. In an unprecedented move, the director decided to shoot his next motion picture aboard an ocean liner traveling across the Atlantic. Plot details are kept under wraps, but our trusted sources claim that the project has found its star. <laughs> an obvious choice, perhaps, given the star's fabled career and numerous critically acclaimed roles. It seems that the recent worrying rumors as to the artist's personal life have not dissuaded the director. Hmm. I assume they're referring to us. So we have a, a past, huh? One I'm sure we will be slowly uncovering. Yeah. Hey, Faceless. Reminds me of that song by uh by Red Faceless. Like I hear water dripping, but we're on a boat. That should make sense. Locked. I also have no idea how many endings this game has, so I don't know what ending we're going to even be running into. Security office. New procedures come into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all of the guards for, de for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. Oh! Thank you for the follow! Thank you, thank you! Chillin', literally. Oh no, are you- are you cold? I hope you have some blankets or something. Unless you like the cold. I personally kind of prefer the cold. Because then I can just pile on blankets and get cozy. They must ensure that does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. Hmm. They're very strict about stowaways here. Or like, we'll be having no titanic plots here. No stowaways. No jacks. Ooh, we have a key, though. Key for what? I'm not quite sure yet. Fan is blowing in my room and my door is shut. Oh! Well, now we have a fan on here. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally. Oh, this fan's not really moving that fast. But yeah, I have my fan going on at all times, too. Oh, that's what that dripping is. It's a leak. Mostly because I just- I need the noise, you know? I can't stand the sound of, uh, of silence. My tinnitus is just too bad. Oh, we can actually crouch in this game. I don't think we could crouch in the first one. But we still can't jump. Jumping is still beyond us. Sometimes the fan on helps me sleep. Yeah, yeah, I can't sleep without a fan on. The sound of tinnitus. Yep, the sound of constant, endless ringing. Less popular song by Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> the sound of tinnitus. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. Hmm. Are they talking about us, or are they talking about... <gasps> Rat! Something happened while we were looking at Rat. I heard something. Well, we can't even follow Rat. You have long hair. I don't, so I freeze. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the long hair acts like a like a scarf.
uh, informative. <laughs> the static noises. Uh, no. <laughs> that door opened on its own. Oh, I don't know how to send telegrams. Uh. This hallway changed again. Oh. Oh, it locked. Well, I hope I wasn't supposed to actually send a telegram, because I had n no idea how. So now I'm worried about the game locking doors behind behind me. Never mind. It's locking doors in front of me. <laughs> Bonks. <laughs> that time for me and night all. Good night, Sam. Have a good rest of your night. Nothing here. What about down here? What is that? Performance for the ages. Acting, if done well, is a scary business. It takes immense courage to lose consciousness of your own self and not just reenact, but become the character you are portraying. You can muster that kind of courage. And yet, it happens. To which, after last night's visit to the Majestic Theater, I can personally attest. As my regular readers know all too well, I am careful with words and not the easiest critic to please. Having said that, the play's lead performance left me speechless. Utterly fearless, the acting by... Unintelligible name. Was nothing short of transcendent. It was as if the person on stage dissolved before my very eyes, letting the character burst into existence. Wow. That's some hardcore method acting, I guess. Bathroom. Waste all of the water on this boat. This haunted boat. Ooh. Is that the construction of the boat? So I think that's a, a propeller. Oh, I can't- I can't walk beyond here. There's a visible collision. Well, luckily I can at least open the drawers. Eleven? Is that the date? 1911? I can barely make out what the photo's of, though. I got an achievement for it, picking it up, though. Hand up here. There we go. And nothing in there. It's so quiet. It's making me more nervous that it's so quiet. That means that anything could happen. It's very suddenly. Oh, but it saved. Yeah, the other thing about the, the Layers of Fear games is that you can only go forward. The majority of your agency is whether or not you choose to proceed. To let the, the story unfold. Locked. I bet, I bet if we did multiple playthroughs, some doors would open where others were closed and stuff. Someone's... Is that like a portal or is it steamy in here? Huh. 
It's like a veil. Guy's got a reputation. That's something. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets them on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit, if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. So we're not the first person that he's done this to, then. This is just his thing. Did I knock that over? It's just the thing that this director does, I guess, is trap his actors on a boat until they build the character. <laughs> oh, hydrate and stretch. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Genesis. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good night. Go. Wait. We just saw that got not get knocked over. So what if the guy's a little nuts? He's a director. It comes with a job. I mean, what's he gonna do? Kill ya? Um. It sure does look like that's uh, a risk in this job. I don't know if we were fully aware of the risk when we signed up for this role. Locked. Uh. There's that vase again. It's not knocking, getting knocked over this time, though. I think it's all an act. <laughs> it broke this time. Well, I didn't break it. I'm not liable. Just trust me, the, the wind knocked it over. So many cool people in the chat tonight. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> hey, Astro. It's been a while. Hello, hello. How are you doing? From Icarus Transatlantic Security Office to all officers, most of you are already aware of the Hollywood motion picture that is going to be shot aboard our vessel. We are sending you detailed guidelines to which decks are being are to be restricted for regular passengers. Above all else, the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed. That why we haven't met anyone on this boat yet? Yes, it has. I'm good. You? I'm good. We were playing Silent Hill Homecoming earlier, but due to some crashes, we are playing Layers of Fear 2 now. Y'all saw that, right? I feel like I, I definitely saw a figure standing there. Do you remember? Do you remember? The 21st night of September. Before the world told you who you should be. Do you Did you know that there are free horror game on Epic Games Launcher? It's called Among the Sleep. Oh, yeah, I played that years ago. That's an old one. That's a good one, though. I'd like to stream it at some point, too, actually. But yeah, that's actually one of the few games uh, on Steam I've won 100%ed and gotten all the achievements for. It's a good one. Very sad. Also creepy. Creepy and sad. Creepy? 
Where do I... Oh, I see the door. I still can't leave, though. Why? I... <laughs> I love this dude's voice, though. I think it is the same dude from Candyman. He's got that silky, honey voice. So many have tried to be part of my greatest work, as if there was ever a choice. Only one can bring this character to life. Only one is broken enough to build it. Who, us? What makes the protagonist so broken? I just expect all vases to fall and break now. Wait. There's a camera on a dolly. Wheeling away from us. I believe in you. Thank you? Thank you, mysterious supportive voice. But yeah, Among the Sleep's a great game. Great concept, too. Oh, we need a code. Time to go code hunting. Oh, they're on a boat. Little little pirate boat. Wake up, Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. Hmm. <gasps> that almost landed on me. I think I remember Among the Sleep. Is that the one with the teddy bear? Yeah, yeah. You have a little teddy bear companion, yeah. It's the one where you play, uh, I think you're a two-year-old. You're a little toddler. Hmm. Well, I can't move around this table. Oh! 206. Two... Zero. Six. So now we have- we know we have two voices that are chiming in. The director and someone else. Oh, I think that's a mannequin. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a mannequin. <laughs> oh. Are we... are we really going? Really, I... I'm... That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank. Ooh, maybe it's our childhood friend or something. Oh, it's another mannequin. Hey, mannequins. <laughs> oh, but this looks like a weird looking mannequin. Just sitting there. I need to get in there. How do I. Is that a door? How do I get in? Oh, maybe I have to go all the way around. Or... Or not. Is there something missing from there? Chair, maybe? There's physics, right? No. I was gonna say, maybe I can push the chair. It's like, it's a boat, but it feels like a giant set. Like, this room isn't real. 
where do I go? Mr. Mannequin, where do I go? Hmm. Any of these doors open? No. Oh. Ah. That's just going to keep rotating. What are these buttons? Are we trying to recreate something? Oh! We want to put the, the chair down on that spot. Is that about right? Bingo. Um... Should we start rotating it again? Yeah. But what now? Oh, this is open now. Hello. Like your hat. I guess that's not part of the puzzle then? No, okay. Oh, there's a door over there, but I can't reach it. So we have this path, but it's not really leading us into... Oh, never mind. No, never mind, never mind. We... What? <gasps> Way changed. Oh, the mannequin. It fell over. Uh. <laughs> I love that dancing emote. What is. Oh, it's chalk. I'm back, Mahardy. Scouted out the whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. A trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbor. Hello, came in earlier with Nether's raid, but I was finishing up at work. Just wanted to say you have a really nice voice. It's very soothing. Aww. Thank you so much. Elva Word... Elva Worldfell. That's such a pretty name. Thank you, thank you. That's so sweet. It's funny, I was just saying yesterday how, uh, I used to hate my voice. <laughs> and... How streaming has really helped me to get used to it. And, and comments like that, they, they mean a lot to me, thank you. <laughs> Oh, you go by Jinx? What is this? Meow Records Company? <laughs> oh my god! Must I say strawberry? What is this? Record Company. 
Nug Laboratory Strawberry Louisiana? No, that's L I no. I L Illinois. This record is sold National Phonography. Huh. Oh, I picked it up, whatever it is. Hard agree, I want Lucid to read me a bedtime story. <laughs> I've never even thought about doing something like that. My name used to be James, but I changed it when random people uh, on which started following me because it was too close to my real name. It made me real nervous. Oh, that makes sense. Jinx it is, then. There she is, Mr. Hardy. The fastest vessel ever built. Ready to set sail for the land of the flame. The land of I the don't flame. See any sails? Shh. We must make our way aboard quietly. So it's like a like a pretend game of pirates. Oh, well, guess we can't go. Mannequins getting ready to shoot someone. I'll just uh lead you to that. Also, Gree, I'm so glad you don't dislike your voice anymore, because it's a lovely one. Aw, thank you, Neville. <laughs> Man, you're all so sweet. What the... What is that? Oh, it's like... Oh, it's like fake water. We're on a boat. On a boat. Boatception. And this uh this dude's just chilling. Oh, there's like little fake shark fins. <laughs> Can't go in there. My voice is very calming. Uh, oh, everything's moving now. And lagging. If it lags too much, I'll... turn my settings down. Actually, maybe I should go ahead and do that. Because if I'm already seeing some lag... Uh, advanced. Let's turn... Textures down to medium. I don't know if that actually did anything. Still can't. Oh, we can't get off the boat now. We're just on the boat. Oh, we can go down below. Oh. Second hardest boss in any game, lag. <laughs> First place is gravity. It's true. Avast, Mr. Hardy. Too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Little wooden Maybe. sword. I want to go home. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt, or be there a fire burning within. Man, they took their, their little pirate make-believe really seriously. Heck was that? Oh, I guess we're not coming out of that way. Metals? Or is the boat on fire now? How do we how do we get out? We have a key. That I bet goes. Yeah. I know this ship is called 
uh, or the, the company that owns this ship is called Icarus Transatlantic, but, uh, it seems a little on the nose. Just like that. I guess we can leave? Yeah. Huh. I'm not quite sure what to think yet. Thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome! Thank you for the follow, Jinx. Everything's monochrome now. Made to order. One sturdy wooden chest built entirely of old oak with heavy iron banding. Additional leather straps and carrying handles on the sides. Large enough to fit a grown man. We hope you'll find our work to your satisfaction. A chest big enough to hold a person, huh? That's not suspicious at all. Yeah, no. Let's we'll, we'll turn that. Well, this is Hangman. Can I can I finish it? I'd like to make a guess. Be ready to go back. Back to what? Back through the hallway? Oh, I guess so. Because it's letting us go back. But of course, it's not the same hallway we were in before. Ooh, such a smooth transition. Great way to travel. I don't think that does anything. That's not hooked up to anything. Murder. Murder most foul. Between mannequins? Yeah, I don't think that does anything. Oh, is that one robbing the bank? Wait. Where'd they go? Uh, this is gonna be a very mannequin-heavy game, isn't it? Hold shift to run? What do you mean? I'm running. What am I running from? <gasps> what? what? Wait, did I die? Oh, the lights! Oh, I can't get caught by the spotlight. Run deem 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 <laughs> Oh No questions, just run. Less thinking, more running. Oh, it's a it's a like a safe combination? Ten 80-40. I know you did it. You killed her. Truth is, it was her killing me. Slowly. All 
this time. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ooh. We're getting all kinds of achievements just for picking stuff up. Hmm. So what do we use the combination on? Probably gonna have to remember it too. So clockwise first. 10, 80, 40. 10, 80, 40. Oh! Forgot about the spotlight. Meow. Meow. And we don't need to pick that back up. Okay. Your biggest fan has come to join us. Oh? Oh! Kitty cat! Hi, Nagato! Hello! We love ourselves some some uh, stream kitty cats. Hello! Well, do I want to see what's over here? Oh, maybe there isn't anything over here. Or... Is there? Now nah, this is where I came from. And he demands a hydrate? <laughs> okay, I can't resist a request from a cat. The kitty cat shall get what they want. I will hydrate. Alrighty. Thank you, thank you. A pile of clothes. Oh, is this what I need to use the combination for? No, that doesn't make any sense. It's just a regular crank, I think. Are we breaking into the bank? Is a mannequin gonna shoot us? The big door. Ah, that's the safe. Oh, and to remind us what the code is. <laughs> Thanks, game. Okay, 10. And then... 80 and then oh oh I, I clicked twice very noir yeah right, let's try that again okay, 10 80 turn 40 no Do I need to go all the way around? And then... 40. Aha! That always confused me about combination locks. It's one of the reasons why, I, like, after a point in middle school, I just stopped going to my locker. <laughs> I was like, I'd rather just never go to my locker than deal with this combination lock. In the land we've seen behind shut eyes, the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, no fear, no fury, no lies. There we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold, and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother. Oh, so she's our sister. So quiet now. Oh, 
we're on like a like an island cave. Oh, this is so pretty. Can we go up the ladders? No, they don't go anywhere. And we're back on the boat. Not that we ever really left. Ooh. That handwriting. Mr. Hardy is a quartermaster, and that is a very important thing to be, because a quartermaster takes care of getting the crew where it needs to be, and also makes sure there's plenty of food and rum for everyone. Mr. Hardy is very loyal to the captain, and always follows orders because he knows that he... The captain, not Mr. Hardy, is a fearless leader. The captain sometimes gets cross with Mr. Hardy, but that's only because he cares greatly about the whole crew. And the truth is, the bottom of the page is torn off. Hmm. Oh, I shoved myself with the drawer. Oh, it's another one of these photo things. Oh, I know what these are. These, those are the kinds of, uh, photo slides that get slotted into, um, one of those kinds of, like, photo projector things. Like the one we saw at the beginning. I bet the more we collect, the more we get to slot into, uh, that projector. Mmm. So then the question is, do we unlock, like, an ending for getting all of them? Dear! We're gonna watch live-action Bambi, which I'm surprised Disney hasn't decided to do that yet, but I hope they never do, because Bambi's perfect. Out of all their movies, that one definitely does not need a reboot. Oh, please don't let anything bad happen to the deer. Oh my god! You got me. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> you actually got me with that one. I was not expecting it. <laughs> oh, it's just... It just bounds away. <laughs> got <him! laughs> It's true, you did. You got me. Oh, there's something behind the projector. Carol, Lucid, I have to take my leave. Have a great stream. Thank you for being here, Blair. Have a great rest of your night. Oh! Ah! Oh. There's a door. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I hate flies. Oh god, what the... This is like some shining stuff. Look at that carpet. And the tricycle. Although this is a movie set type thing. Maybe it is a reference. Gold. Pirate treasure. Yeah, I figured that would be locked. <laughs> Ooh. These look like actual photos. Like, I wonder if those are, like, actual photos, like historical ones, or if they just recreated the appearance. Damn, we just watched that mannequin get frickin' murdered. Rushed. This fellow is wise enough to play the fool. William Shakespeare, Twelfth Night. I don't think I read that one. I used to read a bunch of Shakespeare when I was in like middle school, maybe. I don't think I read that one.
a lot of shoes. Really do love this dude's voice. Here's another one. This one's all stained up though. But yeah, this looks like like an actual historical photo. But I don't know if they're just like recreating the aesthetic, but or if they just actually took some photos from like an archive or something. Uh -uh. We would have a reflection. We're a vampire. That's the secret twist. Is to get rid of it. But we have a shadow. A shadow but no reflection. Yeah, confirmed vampire. Huh. Well, I hope our soul doesn't look like a mannequin. An act of creation always begins with an act of destruction. What is that? Marble? Well, thank you, kind mannequin. Oh, recording booth. One life ends, another begins. One life ends. Oh. Action. Oh, I have to choose. Why wait? Do I have to choose? Can I choose to not choose? What happens if I don't? I reject your choice. I reject it. Ah, oh, never mind. He won't let me. Action. Uh, which do I choose? Top hat or fancy hat? Pro gamer move. <laughs> Trying to av av avoid the choice. I'm gonna close my eyes. A life for life. One must be taken. The right one. Oh. He's literally trying to tell me to shoot the right one. I'm a rebel. I don't wanna. The story as old as time. I went off script. Sorry, mannequin. Hmm. So I wonder what that's gonna do to our... our ending and our path in this game that I went off script. 
I didn't follow the rules. I I don't want that light to hit me. It kind of looks like a laser. I can't see out the portholes. They're all... Is that... Pa they're painted, I think. The music's building up. <laughs> oh, we can open that door. We can't go through it. I don't see anything beyond it. Oh, come on. Can we walk through these? Oh, we can. I was mistaken. I thought they would kill me. <gasps> oh, the music stopped. I'm like anticipating. I'm like waiting. There's got to be something's going to happen. I'm waiting for like a like a monster or something to chase me just cuz the game has warned me about it. <gasps> uh maybe something like that. That mannequin's gonna ruin his eyes staring into that light. Gotta go mod for a friend, but I'll have your stream up. Oh, thank you! That's so sweet! You have a great rest of your night. And, yeah, take care. Hopefully you don't run into anything, uh, any bots or anything while you're modding. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. What do I do? Oh, the music starts back up again. What? Hello? He moved. Yeah, and the way... The way they're able to change the environment so slickly... Like, when you turn the camera away. I thought this was the first layers of fear. I'm so impressed by it. Like, they really know how to unnerve the player and make you, like, wonder what's real or not. Question your own perception. What? What is that? Oh, I don't like that. What the? a thing. We're lucky that you should have. We're lucky that you stream lucid. We likely have never known you without that. Aww. It's true, though. I'm, I, I'm mostly a, a lurker myself. Always observing. Ra ra rarely making my presence known. 
So I'm, I'm glad that I get to meet so many cool people. So many awesome people through streaming. Look what I found, Mr. Hardy. This chart will lead us away from peril and into safe harbor. It's an actual blueprint of the ship? Not safe. Safe? Were they playing pirate on this boat? takes courage to stand up to someone stronger than you. I could never do it. I wasn't brave enough. But she was. Playing with the rats. The kid's playing with the rats. Wasn't it you that started lurking in my chat first, or was it Pinkberry? I don't remember, actually. It's been so long. I think I remember... The first interaction I remember is, uh... We were chatting in my StarCraft stream way back when. Well, I definitely saw that. Uh... Only one of us knows what must be done. Only one knows what is at stake. The other doesn't need to know. Doesn't need to understand. Only to listen. And to act. I figured that'd be locked. They're gonna want us to go down the longer hallway. Lily, I think there's something in the dark. Shh! Someone's coming. Hello? Anyone there? <gasps> bloody hell! Sod it. The chief wants it checked so bad he can bloody well do it himself. Huh. They were hiding from... the security officers? Were they stowaways? Is that why we were seeing all the stuff about zero tolerance of stowaways? I met you, Lucid, either because of Cabal or Pink. Don't remember who raided you first, but you were playing the Blade Runner game. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, I, did, I wasn't even affiliate then. I hit affiliate literally when I was playing Blade Runner. I love that game so much. I was really happy to, to hit affiliate and meet so many cool people while playing an old game I really loved. Rats! And one that's not very well known. Look at all the rats! It's kind of... Uh, what inspired me to keep going, honestly. To keep playing the games I love and, am, and uh, am interested in. And that people really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. The sp specter keeps appearing before me. But so far they're just appearing. Oh, never mind. They're chasing me now, aren't they? Oh, wait. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Are they chasing me? I feel like they're chasing me. Close the door. Okay. I think we're good. Thank you to the that voice. <laughs> this bottle do. Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Lily, I I'm scared. You should be scared. You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. <laughs> How 
better way to get out. I think we died. We know what we are, but know not what we may be. Oh boy, I want to become famous. <laughs> I think Pink Fairy found me first, which led me to you. I'm like, oh, what? Oh, I'm just gonna run. Run, 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 run! Run, run! Oh god. Mannequins everywhere. Ah. Oh god, it's right behind me. Yeah, no one clicked that link. The door behind you. Oh. Good call, good call. <gasps> no. I was too slow. I was too slow to close the door. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Well, I definitely have died twice now, so <laughs> I'm definitely learning how to die. On my third stream, I remember now, I met Pink and Neville via Palette Jam. Oh! Yeah, that does make sense. We love Jam. First people I met were through Jam, and after that, I just kept meeting lots and lots of cool people. Yeah, we love, uh... God. We love Jam here. <laughs> Alright. I think... At least it doesn't seem like we have a limit to our sprint. We can just run. We just gotta be fast. Faster. <laughs> run, run, run! I think this is the one we have to... I'm closing, I'm closing it! Alright. It's like a little, little clubhouse. The hunt. Ooh, it's got rats on it. A familiar motif. And now we're back on the normal boat? It looks like it. What's what's happening? What happened? What changed? Why'd the lights go out? Uh, at least I don't think I, I'm gonna be chased in the the brighter version of the boat. Kind of like a what happened? Oh, we're back in our original room. The mask on. Research. Risk. Car? <laughs> what? what? Show your true face. Inside every actor is the one part they were born to play, the one character they were meant to build. Chip away the bloody marble, give form to the formless, until all that remains is the truth.
Oh, we have the- yeah, I was right. The- the slides we've been getting. Oh. They're up a- a fire, I think? Get a closer look. I'm glad it can project through me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a fire. Rechart mixed around spells Voldemort. <laughs> hey, you mind? What's up? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing good. Hope you are too. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Let the let that go, I guess. Man, that bed looks so comfy. Let's go up here. These are like trophy stands? Wonder we have to uh, collect something that goes there. But in the meantime, we have a new reel. really interested in what this game is trying to what it's trying to say act two the hunt wait am i gonna be hunted am i the deer that's good finished work off tomorrow eating my spaghetti nice love me some spaghetti you got any garlic bread with it hope so hanging in there cool cool it laughs, it cries, it knows what you did last summer. <laughs> Build the character. Motivation. What drives me? What do I want? What do I need? What are my virtues? My flaws? What hunts? Who? What haunts me? Hmm. I think this is a metaphor. I don't think I'm literally being hunted. I don't think. The loop begins again. Am I a deer with a shotgun? <laughs> Bambi's revenge. Bambi's armed with a shotgun. You got garlic bread? Nice. Yeah, that's the quintessential spaghetti uh, side. Absolutely. God, I haven't had it from forever, though. Okay, this door. Well, that's a painting of something. Yeah. Uh, could we take this again? Uh, <laughs> there's something wrong with the picture. 
I, I think you must have moved. You just don't look quite yourself. Wait. Is that a photo? Nah, no way. That's some, like, the ring shit right there. What? Wait. I'm out- I'm outside the room? What? Well, that was super weird. Now I'm on edge all over again. Probably for good reason. I hear whispers. Excuse me, I'm such a big fan. Could you please sign? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I mistook you for someone else. Is that us? <laughs> Layers of Edge Lord. <laughs> we're a super edgy actor. Actor. All right, this way. Oh. Oh, I see that. Uh. What? What's happening? Oh. He that dies pays all debts. <laughs> That's not true. Sometimes your debt gets passed on to your loved ones. Okay, so, uh... Don't open that door. Okay, we're running somewhere. We're running. Uh... Locked! <gasps> Bruh, we just fell down an elevator shaft. But that didn't kill us? What? <laughs> death. Death is happening. It's the reason there's a saying, an arm and a leg. It's like I broke all my bones falling down that elevator shaft. Wait, what does that say? Finished with engines. It's slow. Slow, half, full, standby. Can't see over here, but I see the outline of this wheel. Oh, but what does this do? True. You just made sure to jump right before you hit the bottom. <laughs> I used my, my double jump. <laughs> hey, Andrew. We are on a boat. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. Take a good hard boat at the motherfucking boat. Yeah, it's been forever since there's been a new uh, Lonely Island anything, huh? I guess because uh, Andy Sandberg is too busy with Actually, have there even been any recent seasons of Brooklyn Nine Nine? I don't know if I want that. Oh wait, is that another plug? Oh, 
I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I was able to do it. Oh, I think I said I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Bioshock 4. Oh wait, I've got like places to explore. Like this upper area. Time and description of activities. Starting patrol of lower decks. Engine room appears to be in order. Moving to the cargo holds. Heard suspicious noises among the cargo. Went to investigate. Flashlight broke. Had to double back to get a spare. Oh, that's that broken flashlight we saw. Waiting for that iceberg. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that boat. Damage to company property. Deduct from pay. Dereliction of duty. Recommend disciplinary action. Resuming patrol. No further signs of disturbance. Shift over. Huh. So you got in trouble for the flashlight breaking. Oh, that sucks. So we got that way. And then what's down here? Oh, this just loops back around. We'll go through the store then. Man, speaking of Bioshock. That's another one I should continue playing at some point. Oh god, I thought that mannequin was, <laughs> was gonna run after me. Cool. Not fine, not cool. The name of this chapter is Hunted. Definitely feel like I'm being hunted. By something. Oh, I don't see it now. There we go. I assume that steam would have, uh, hurt. And the lights stop breaking. The breaking lights makes me nervous. No, the food! It's the true horror. <gasps> no, not all the fresh food! This is the true tragedy. All the food disappearing. No food. Oh. Loading food. We still can't grab onto any of it. We're just going in a loop. It's all gross now. I was not expecting a food jump scare. Oh, this was just sad. All that wasted food. True tragedy. That 
That'll do for now. It's time to eat. Quartermaster, hand me the bag. I got the mains, the food. Uh, it's gone. Oh. Now I'm going to starve, bulging stomach. Unsanitary. Yeah, it's rotten and un... Um, okay. What's that weird painting again? Alright. Guess we're going in here. It's a playing card. It's just the door closing. Wait. Uh. <laughs> Maybe it can't chase me if I... Oh god, am I burning? Am I boiling alive in here? It's still out there. Oh, the seam stopped. Baby, it's gone now. Okay, I, th I think it's gone. Uh, locked. Is there a door over here? No? Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to go back. Lucid, guess what? What? What's up? Or do you want me to guess? Uh, I'm guessing... It is, uh, it's your unbirthday. Merry unbirthday. <laughs> Chicken mo- Hey, Venji. <laughs> How are you doing, Venji? Great to see you. Where? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go back. Oh, the room changed. Oh, it's another one of those things. Ooh, I bet one of those keys is real. Or there's just a key sitting there. Suffering still, We. Oh yeah, because you got your booster, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is, but no. <laughs> now we'll be excited for your big day tomorrow. Guess how many... Points I have. No, oh, how many? I bet you have a lot. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> oh. A door. Is it an actual door? I don't think it is. The big day's tomorrow? I'm so hyped, Nebel. I'm so excited. Oh. Aha! Door. Or is it not real enough yet? Alright. Maybe now? No, 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 no. I need it to be more real. It's 
20k uwu. Oh my god. <laughs> no. It's true. Meg has the power. Meg is the all powerful here. This seems like it should be right. And yet, not. One of these, one of these has to be right, where the door becomes real and tangible. Oh, doorknobs! Need to wait for the right time. You're biding your time. You know you're gonna, you're gonna make it count. Ring, ring. Try to be there or be square. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be there too, for sure. I have a lot of meetings tomorrow, though. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way. What time? If you uh, already know. Here's something. Just wanted to know that it's there. You just want me to have that that knowledge. Let that simmer. Tragedy strikes at the heart. Despair consumes the soul. A life crumbles. Is that a a heart? It is. It is. It is a heart. Do I? Do I do something with the with the heart? Three p.m. Eastern. It'll be twelve. It'll be twelve hours. So you guys are good. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that does. Trying to think. I think my meetings are earlier in the day. So I might be good. But either way, if you're going 12 hours, that should be fine. I should be able to, to make it. Can't go there. It is a lot of hours. Make sure you... Make sure you stay hydrated and... Get some stream snacks to refuel. Oh. From Chief Security Officer, to whom it may concern, it has come to my attention that some of the food supplies have recently gone missing. In light of this, I am left with no other choice but to introduce increased security measures. Starting today, food will be rationed to individual crew members, and the provision storage will be guarded at all times. Hmm. Well, my suspicion is that the the kids were, were stowaways on this ship. So if they started rationing food like that, they wouldn't have been able to get any food. Oh, is that our sister? I'm just throwing it out there. I have no idea. But it makes sense, I think. Assuming that the kids are... uh. Us as a kid and the sister. A trusty bottle of water will be with me, and the kitchen is near in case of needing snacks. Nice! Small amounts an ounce for every hour. <laughs> oh, we need another code. Is 12 ounces even enough for a single day? Um, here is wisdom. Four, seven, six. Oh, 
Oh. Hello. Um. Man, children in horror games are terrifying. You just, uh... Just chilling up there? He's got white eyes. Um... Okay. Don't... You don't seem to mind me. Get up, Quartermaster. What's done is done. No use crying. We need to venture forth and find some fresh supplies. Here, take this. It will help you find your strength. Um, you, you, you're, still up, you're still up there? Nope. I want to check the... There's the door with the... With the code. I have a feeling if I walk in there, I won't be able to come back out. What was the number again? 476? Four, seven, six. I really don't want to miss anything, so I'm like, which way do I go to not progress things? Okay, I think this is a dead end. Thou knowest is common. All that lives must die, passing through nature to eternity. Yeah, a gallon of water should be plenty. Just chug from a giant gallon of water whenever you're thirsty. I've seen people do that, to be fair. Alright, time to go reenact the ring. And you're just gonna keep chilling there, huh? Wait, why are we going in the well? Uh... I guess there's nowhere else to go. Well, well, well... Oh, that's a lot of mannequins. The door's right there. What are they doing? Well, I can approach this one. Oh, the hand is an actual hand. I at least don't drink water, like, during my throat problem arc. Yeah, I imagine you were probably drinking way more water during that, right? Like, more than a gallon in just under two hours. Yeah, that's a lot. You don't want to accidentally drown yourself. So I remember there was that story of a... woman who was trying to win... I think it was a free Nintendo Wii on a radio show. It was a competition to see, uh... How fast you could... I think it was how much or how fast you could drink a gallon of water. And she won. But then she ended up uh, drowning. Because if you drink too much water too fast, you're, it just leaks into your lungs. So don't drink too much. Hydrate responsibly. Yeah, water intoxication. What is this? Oh, it's an actual hand. Oh, it's a puzzle? Oh, you move the different rings. Okay. I see. So 
then this moves the outer circle. Then this moves the even further outer circle. That top part doesn't match. Dilutes your body's salts to the point that your heart stops. Oh! I didn't know that part. Radio called it, hold your wee for a wee, and nurses were calling in, telling him to cancel it while it was happening. It should have listened. Ugh. Hands of time. Don't think water intoxication is when the water gets in your lungs while drinking. It's when your body has so much water. Yeah, yeah. See, y'all are teaching me things. I heard that wrong then when I initially heard. I think the middle one's wrong. When I initially heard that story, it was so horrifying. So now whenever I see like like Venji, he chugs. Oh my god, he will chug whole bottles of water straight, and I get so worried. Like Venji, no, stop. I'm gonna turn this one until it's matching the outer. Yeah, that piece right there, that line. Oh! I did it. Oh, there's feet in there. We did the thing. Now what? Hey, Starbreeze! How oh, hello, how I like water. <laughs> yeah, but Venji, don't like water too much. Yeah, this is Layers of Fear 2. We were playing Homecoming, but... First game, that is. We ended up running into a crash, uh... After beating the, the prison boss. And then none of our saves would load, so... Uh, rip that. So we went with our backup game, Layers of Fear 2. But yeah! Hey, Melon Deity! Hello, hello! Oh, we gotta move the- Oh! Oh god. Those poor mannequins. Only supposed to drink water at sips at a time. H2O- H2O no! Benji, listen to us, please! Extremely dry mouth. The water soothes. Hope everyone chat is doing great as well. Yeah, I hope. Hope you and Starbreeze are having a great, a great Wednesday. Not Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> I still can't believe it's already Thursday. It feels like this week has just flown by. Time isn't real. You're right. Time is an illusion. And speaking of... Two, eight... Five, eight... Uh... I'm not quite sure what this puzzle's asking me to do quite yet. Eight, maybe?
Oh, that did something. Uh, twelve thirty-eight. There's no twelve on this clock. Fourteen. I'm 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 winging this puzzle. I'm not sure what it's asking me to do. Twenty-five. Do I need the the five? Thirty. Thirty-eight. I have to like rotate my mouse. Maybe it's because I missed the one the first time. Two, six. No, oh, go back! Ah, I rotated too much. Two, six? But I already have the three... Two and the eight taken care of. Or maybe... Maybe I'm adding... <gasps> Wait! Is that what you meant by trying to equal 38? Maybe I'm supposed to add... Oh! Okay, I... I think I get it. I... I understand. It's math! I I understand now. Okay. And then I overshot it, but I'll grab that too. And then seventy. I'll just start with the 10. Math! <laughs> then... Sixty-four. Alright, we need... Two and four. Grab the thing. He did it! <laughs> are we done with this puzzle? Sure seems like we are. Finished doing the stuff I need to do today. I have a little headache, so I think I'll be going to bed already. Can also, so I can also have a good rest for tomorrow. Hello for the ones that did say hi and goodbye, everyone. Have a great rest of your night, Neville. Get some good rest. You're gonna need it for a 12-hour stream. And we'll we'll definitely try to make it there to, to support you. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Came for the video games and got fooled into doing math. <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, and I hope your headache feels better. Pretty flower. Oh, we're taking it with us. Well, I guess we can leave this place now. Mm 
Oh, nope, don't like that. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, can't spell wrath without math. I think wrath is lacking in an M. Uh, this is my stop. Uh, oh, they're gone. Oh. Uh... No man is an island, but one can become a vessel to carry within a flame of another. Social distance. <laughs> oh, you're right. The M's upside down. You got me. You got me there. Oh wait, there's a head on that. <laughs> it's morbid. Wait, they're all... They're all mannequins. With, like, gunk on them that's attracting the flies. W for Wumbo. <laughs> oh! You're sitting up now. Man, I'm, I barely have an idea of what's happening. The visuals and is so cool, and that dude's voice, ah. Oh. I would listen to him, uh, tell me all this existential crap about acting all day. Oh my god! Why? Why do you need to escort me? Why are you here? The burning man. <laughs> Never realized that the world would be so bright if it was on fire. The more you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's real, real bright on the sun. Probably the brightest. Oh, it's opening. Oh, hydrate and a stretch. Will do. What happened? <laughs> I'll spill my water. <laughs> what happened? Hydrate. Big stretch. Oh god, everything's cracking. Oh. Uh, that was a big stretch. I needed that. You were on the sun, you wouldn't even burn. You'd turn to plasma. Yeah, you'd get vaporized before you'd even get close to the sun. It's so quiet now. No! Door! Oh, no, I don't like that. Um... Hoompa Loompa mannequins. <laughs> oh, there, there's a thing in them. What the... What? Is that a hand? It's a hand! <laughs> Wait... Uh. <laughs> okay. 
Um, that was a monster. Death is a fearful thing. To the hunt. Yeah, um, we're being hunted, all right. Okay, so when we pull the hand out, we gotta run. Maybe we don't even need to pull the hand out. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it out anyway though. It's it's reaching out. How could I not? Uh, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, hello. Oh goodbye. Oh my god, it's behind me, isn't it? <laughs> Can't chase me in here. Alien coming out of his stomach asking for a hand. Like, hey buddy, can you do me, do me a favor and just, just pull me out? I promise I won't chase you. Tip chases you anyway. So we have that door. There's something there, but I can't reach it. Maybe... I can reach it through here? Aha! Perfect. Now I can look around. Turn on all of the taps. Rats! There is a world outside of our own, hidden beyond the veil of a black mist, where ancient beings dwell, immortal, everlasting. They move among us, among us, unseen, unless they wish to be, unless they choose you, immortal to play their cruel charades. A plaything to be toyed with and discarded when they cease to amuse. Do not listen. Do not play their game. The price is far too high. Beware, you of great talent, of great skill. Beware, you who have seen their true faces. For you, only madness and death. Some sometimes, something is left behind. Objects terrifying in form, puzzling in function. Fear them well, for they are manifestation of their wicked presence. <laughs> You're singing. Is that di diegetic? Is it actually like someone actually singing or? A mongoose? I thought you said rats. <laughs> it was rats. It was cute little rat drawings. That's the door closing behind me. Oh boy, another mannequin. Hello. I can't follow. Why do you go where I can't follow? Wait a minute. What? Everything changed. Sir? Like a little, a little party. Oh, I want cake. We're just chilling in here, I guess. Everything changed because I turned the lights on. Sorry. <laughs> Looks like the rats got to it before us. What? What was that? Shh. 
We're not alone here. Well, yeah, you're, you have rats with you. Who's among us? The rats are among us. That was a hand. Okay. Um... Um, do I have to move this box? <gasps> oh, it's all gross. Oh, it stinks. Gross. But it looks like someone took a bite. Or something. Come, let's not wait for it to come back. Gnarly. Reminds me of that piece of meat from, a uh, Poltergeist. Now that was a gross scene from a movie. <laughs> I'm hungry too. If you're gonna- if you're leaving apples around, I'm gonna eat them. You're right, it was you. You were in the box, Meg. Oh. I had to reinforce some of the cages. Something's got the animals all spooked. Might be they sense the storm coming. Need to batten down the hatches. It's gonna be a big one. Doggos! There's doggos on this boat. Or there were. Fork, fork! Wolf Wolf, we love Wolf Wolfs. We do! Oh! I don't know if we'll see any Pupperinos, though. I think we're only hearing them. It seems like the only other thing that's actually alive here are rats. Deal and company animal trainers. Services provided. Dog training plus delivery. 225 USD. Notes. Cage contents delivered to, to the live cargo deck. Kept feeding to a minimum, as instructed. Handle with caution. Feeding to a minimum? No, give them, give them all the treats and the foods. Even if the humans are rationing. The doggos need food. Oh, ladder. Yeah, we stand puppies. <laughs> These are very small cages, too. For such a long journey. <laughs> um, excuse me, rude. Dogs and rats are priority. I would starve to feed Maru. Oh. Is that where the mannequins are falling from? Poor puppies, they need some love. Exactly. I'll let you out, puppies. I can't free them. I can't leave either. Hmm. Oh, there's a button. Was that there before? Did I free them? Oh, I opened this door. <gasps> Uh, oh, hello. Uh, 
we freed the phantom dog. And the mannequins don't seem very pleased about that. But screw them. What if we're the ones stuck in the cage? Nah. <laughs> More mannequins. I'd prefer the rats and the dogs. <gasps> I'm running, I'm running. I don't know if I'm running in the right direction. Wait, is it chasing me? I don't think it's chasing me. Puppy kisses. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh. Look, there's something there. There's something there? at the cave. And now we're back. No. This isn't what I saw. You have to believe me. We're out on the edge of the world, Mr. Hardy. Nothing is as it seems. Huh. It's gonna be a thing where I'm gonna, like, put all the pieces together at the end, I think. Or, like, picking up bits and pieces of the story. Now I'm all nervous. Wait. Wasn't there an... Okay, there we go. I thought the opening disappeared. Top of the page is torn off. Mr. Hardy wouldn't get far without his beloved Captain Baines. The captain is the main character of the story. Some people call him the Black Wanderer because of the color of his ship's sails. Captain Baines is strong and fearless, and he always gets the treasure in the end. Mr. Hardy is a bit envious of the captain, because he would like to be as strong as him. I'm back, just did a mini freebie commission for Soda. I've been here lurking, and god, this game's noises are whack. <laughs> yeah, layers of fear. Uh, yeah, definitely very heavy-handed with the, the sounds and stuff. Which is fine, I love good sound design. I love spooky sound design. What kind of commission? An, e an emote or a stinger? Gotta hit the hay now, but this has been such a cool game so far. Thank you for streaming. Thank you for being here, Budgie! I hope you have a good rest of your night. Have sweet dreams. Um, I don't know if we're gonna finish this game tonight, because I think this one's longer than the first one. So, if, I if Homecoming is absolutely, like, kaput and will not work again... <laughs> Because, I don't know, I'm going to back up my saves and see if I can salvage it. We will. I'll, I will try my darndest. But if not, then we'll just continue this next Thursday. I'm fine with that. Yeah, go, go bed, budgie. <laughs> Everyone's shouting at each other. You're all so cool. <laughs> I don't want to become famous. Theodorius Be Dark. It's a cool name for a bot, though. What a shame. What a waste. <laughs> Budgie, you can't shout me! <laughs> nah, there's no need to time them out. Just ban them.
Yeah, everyone here is super cool. Everyone here should follow all the super cool people here, if you're not already. <laughs> There's that weird painting again. Wait, that was coming from the radio? Weird. Oh, you missed the ban button? Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. One button too close. <laughs> Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man. No, you're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. <laughs> Uno reverse cards over and over and over again. Like, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. Um, why are you throwing paint cans at me, weird spirit thing? I'm not quite sure what's chasing me or who. But if it's anything like the first layers of fear, I assume it's like a ghostly manifestation of someone that we, someone in our personal life that we either wronged or feel guilty about how we treated them. Like we did something. And they're haunting us. What does it even mean to shout me out in my own stream? <laughs> I'm surprised it even lets you do that. <laughs> This all-important, weird painting. The heck is... What the heck is that? Oh, it disappeared! Oh, great! That's fine. This is fine. I'm leaving. Bye! You only said you were going out for a pack of smokes, never said you were coming back. <laughs> oh, okay. Human may concern. I've been informed that some of the crew had voiced their misgivings about the new rationing policy. Let me remind you that it was introduced as a direct result of misconduct occurring aboard this ship. I cannot stress this enough. Theft will not go unpunished. Man, I'm worried for those kids that may or may not be me. Yeah, everyone should go follow Meg. We want to we wanna get Meg to affiliate. Because that would be super freaking awesome. And Meg does really, really cool, chill Pokemon streams. And also uh, Night in the Woods. So if you like uh, chill streams, highly recommend. Oh, that me! I exist. <laughs> yes, that you. This one's empty too. We need to keep looking. Lily, I mean, Captain, there's something out there in the dark. Hush now. Stay behind me. I won't let anything happen to you. Maybe we weren't the only stowaways. Plus one follow there. Oh, see, man, we're gonna get you to affiliate some. <laughs> This way. I'm running. I'm running. Oh my god, the steam hurts. Ow, steam hurts. Oh my god, ow. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Wrong way.
We made we made it. Oh, that's weird. Like running like a horse. Oh my god. <laughs> we lived though. Such an opportunity, such responsibility. To unleash what has been trapped for so long. I can hear it howling, rattling in its cage, dying to get out. Oh, that is just so weird. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, okay. Um... What's that? Oh. Hello. Oh, it's a vent. We're venting. Wait, but then what's over here? I want I want to see what's in the vent. <laughs> it's the Jacko. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Looks very uncomfortable yoga pose. Humans are not meant to walk on all fours. This game might be the first game to actually, like, creep me out. Yeah, Layers of Fear, I mean, it's creepy. Oh, it was the vent closing. Right? Uh, but yeah, Layers of Fear is a genuinely unnerving game. And the, the psychological aspect is what I really like about at least the first one. I don't know yet about the second one. We're, we're, we're finding out. But like, the idea of uh, basically walking around in a... in someone's mind like, manifested all of their nightmares and guilts and regrets... It's really cool to me. It's the same stuff I really like about Silent Hill when it's at its best. Well, the ship is tilting. It's a rat. Oh no! James, I said leave it. But what what ate it? Pain cost must be paid when one destroys the balance. A heavy cost. What what cost do I have to pay for taking the rat? Please don't eat me. I won't. Something else ate you, I think. Oh, that's a whole pile. All lives are created equal. The life of one can outweigh the lives of many. Why is that one flopping? Is it scripted to flop like that? That's not a physics bug. That's scripted. They want that one rat flopping weirdly. Uh, it's so creepy. When everything is at stake, then lies hang in the balance. Reason becomes weakness. Trust your instinct. Okay. Six ninety nine for rat burger value meal. Gotta pay twenty dollars plus cab fare. Or you can just go in the sewers for your rat burgers, like a Demolition Man. Ha! That's like the third Demolition Man reference I've made this month. Scale. 
Oh, we have choices to make. Take it. Or can... oh! I didn't make a choice. Oh, it's restarting, I think, to force me to make the choice. It's, oh, it's like the other choice we made. We can either follow his instruction and take the meat or not listen to him and give up. Well, I'm not going to listen. I'm defying your script. The doggo can have the meat. I, I chose to let the dog go eat. Must be left behind. Some things. Well, I don't know if I made a right choice, but I made a choice. And that's all we can do. Is make choices. You didn't take it. You, you'll starve. Oh. You let it go. You regret it. You gave up. You'll never make it. I'm worried about the sister now. What is... Those apple cores? She once saw this boy drown a baby rat in the gutter. She held the boy's head in the gutter till he promised to never do it again. There's always someone stronger than you. Hello. I guess once again, he's just kind of chilling. Hello. He's got those white eyes. Oh, he's gone. I'm hereby ordering the supplies to be transferred to a more secure location in the upper cargo hold. I expect all provisions to be safe and accounted for in the next report. In any case, I wish to hear no more on the matter. They're so strict about the food. There's no other reason to be in here other than to <laughs> turn on the taps. Ah, Ooh. what is forever, if not merely a prolonging of misery? I would gladly give it up for a life of meaning, of purpose. So we're like collecting these uh these Shakespeare posters. I wonder if they're gonna be, like, hanging up, uh, in the main room when we would get back. Floppy Meg Rat is amusing with a mental image. It's like a squish ball that also holds data. Or 
you're not alone. So I think if we could have gone through here earlier, I wonder if uh, following the boy briefly was also a choice. Look at all that money. Is it real? Oh no, it's pirate money. Like Monopoly money, but with skulls. Even more money. And a treasure map. <laughs> if it doesn't last long, they'll all die like those rats. Symbolism. Yeah, I have a strong feeling that none of this is real, real. Like, it's all like. Like, hyper-manifested allegory. It's no good. We'll never find any food. James, look at me. And it's all my fault. I said, look at me. I am Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer, the Slayer of the Cyclops, the Seeker of the Flame. I will see us through this. Don't you ever doubt me. Sister is putting so much weight on her shoulders. It's a lot of responsibility for a kid. They must have been desperate, though, if they were so willing to go through that to stow aboard the ship. That's for Meg. When I really share, Did she just call herself Captain. Yeah, they they have a uh, they're they're playing pretend pirates, so. The sisters calling, uh, calling themselves Captain Baines, and uh, the brother is Mr. Hardy, the the de the first mate, first officer, I think it is. This channel is pure gaming culture. <laughs> we are very cultured here. But do you squeak <laughs> sometimes, Uwu? The trophy. Right, I'm going for it. I'm going for the trophy. Is that on fire? Oh. Oh god. It's a mountain of fish. Rotten fish. What a prize. I love culture. Eat some cheese. <laughs> Eat some yogurt. <laughs> I also squeak when I'm surprised, Meg. It's the it's those bad instincts. All of the treasure. It was all fish. Oops, all fish. The imagination of a, a desperate child. All fish. From second engineer to requisitions officer. I know you have your orders, and I mean no disrespect. I'm just saying the chief is being unreasonable. He'd let all that food rot in the hold as long as it's accounted for. Anyway, the workers are getting restless. Shifts are getting longer, and now they have to make do on less food. I know my men. They're decent, God-fearing folks. Not one thief among them. When people hear their bellies rumbling, it's easy to put them over the edge. Huh. So even the crew is like, man, this captain is like, off his rocker. He's just so desperate to hoard the food and account for everything. He's not caring about the human cost of it. Capitalist.
go down. I love that little mouse. The little... Is that a mouse or a rat? It could be either. A little emote. Why is it backwards? <laughs> is it normally facing the other way? He's not the captain. His name was Captain. <laughs> oh, speaking of emotes and changing them, how do people get the little witch hats over their uh, over emotes? Because I've seen that. I don't know how you how you all do it. But I wanna. It's bald rat. Oh, I've definitely Maybe seen it before. Come on, we have to go. Oh. Did you hear that? This way. James, run. So his name is James. Where where can I run? You lurked in one of my art streams. You probably saw my painting of him. I think I, I think I did actually. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming we can't get hit by it, or don't want to be hit by it. Oh, ow, yep, ow. Oh, I died. <laughs> he who lives more lives than one, more deaths than one, must die. Well, we died. Alright. So we gotta be careful in that room. I'm reseating myself a little bit. Run, Captain Hook. It's a lot of flames. Is that where I'm supposed to run? Wait, that... That voice. It wasn't the voice I was expecting. Powers hmm. die many times before their deaths. I'm starting to wonder now. Who are we? I know the game asked us to ask that question at the beginning, but now I'm asking it again. Who are we? This works. Yeah, the title card changes uh, its style every time you die. Which is kind of neat. Okay, there's the door. Alright, run, 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 run. But yeah, it's a neat little detail. Ooh, I want that poster, I bet. Wish I could shut that window. Nothing in there. It's like light flames. The heart of the city. It beats no more. We failed them. This world never deserved us. Let's watch it burn. Together. Got another poster. We'll have a whole collection. Man, when I eventually... Ah! 
when I eventually someday have like an actual house that I can like decorate like permanently decorate and not just temporarily put things up with thumbtacks I'd love to have like a collection of movie posters for like all my favorite movies that'd be so cool Oh, that controls the mannequin. Oh, I don't know. We wanted. Uh... I don't think we have a choice. Remember our treasure? It's not far. This way. The Black Wanderer and the Secret of the Flame. Uh... Well, why did we have to do that? What significance did that have? It must mean something. Because I don't take any of the imagery for granted. I assume, like, anything that we're doing, anything that we're manipulating, is actually, like, a stand-in for something that actually happened. What if you are just an actual pirate? <laughs> Did it do that so you don't miss the poster? I think so. That'd be cool, I was thinking that, but then... Thought go digital, that I could change it any time without switching the paper. Okay, here we go. Run, 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 run. Uh... Up here. All right, Cabal. Have a great night. Sweet dreams. Get good rest. I think we're gonna... We're gonna play a little bit longer. We're gonna get back to the, the original room that we started in. The killing joke. Step into the light. But yeah, we're gonna... we're gonna finish this run. Because this loops a little bit. Oh god. Oh, I'm on fire! Oh, I'm dead. Time and tide wait for no man. But yeah, once we finish Act 2, I think that'll be a good stopping point. Nope! I'll wait for that. And then I'll run and hit the switch. Oh, wait! There's a... There's a thing. Step into the light? Onto the light, literally, onto the light. It was a path of light. Didn't I just start Act 2? Mm -mm. We've been in Act 2 for a little bit. I want to have my own home and make it into a smart home. I remember that, that, uh... Disney Channel movie, Smart House. But yeah, it's one of those things where I'd love to have, like, actual bookshelves, because, like, moving books is so... it's such a pain. Oh. Like, if I were to have, like, a bookshelf, like, a proper one with, like, books displayed, I wouldn't want to have to move that thing ever again. <laughs> That'd be, like, a... That'd be like a... I'm finally not gonna move anytime soon. I can finally display some stuff. Oh, wait. Uh, do I have to do that? Oh, I think I do. Sorry, mannequin. I 
I'm a murderer. Oh, but we got another we got another piece of the poster. The killing joke, the Joker the whole time. Want to make an arcade room? Got TMNT and plan on getting the Simpsons car uh, carcade too. Oh, that'd be so cool to have like a your own arcade. That's like absolute goals, man. Ah. Oh. I want to have like a cool uh gaming room set up with the with my rig and all my consoles. That's the dream. Oh, okay. I was like I went the wrong way. I'm going to die. But no, I went the right way. Oh, that's a face. You shouldn't sit so close to the screen. You'll hurt your eyes. <gasps> Watch out. Something's coming. You need to keep <gasps> moving. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, we have the bottom of the poster now. Oh, I didn't run. Yes, death. Death must be so beautiful. <laughs> I don't think it's the screen that I'll hurt your eyes. Yeah, I am uh, inclined to agree now. Watch out! Something's coming. Yep, and I am running. <laughs> running. I am running. Almost there. Just a bit further. Is it still chasing me? I think it's still chasing me. Wait, is that a vent? Can I vent? Well, I don't think it's gonna chase me down here. But now I'm curious, uh... I think I took an alternate path. I don't think I was supposed to come down here. Um... I guess I made... a choice. Oh, I'm back outside the vent. So that was a totally optional thing, I think. I didn't need to do that. How curious. But we got the real. Roots. We've got the next, the next real, next piece of the puzzle. Sound. Oh, I think we're back. The house is built of walls and beams. Home is built of fears and dreams. really intrigued by this, the story in this game. I really want to see where it's going. Oh! It's like the rat drawings in, in the first game. This must be where they get displayed when we find uh, rat notes. The storm is here, though. Oh, 
was a little boat. Yeah, Meg, you would really like this game. There's a lot of rats in it. A lot of, uh, rat motifs. Oh, here's our poster collection. We got quite a few now. Oh, it's so many more to collect. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna play the next reel yet. Because I'm pretty sure it's saved. Uh, yeah. So this is probably a good stopping point then. Before Act 3. Alrighty. But I'm really enjoying this game so far. I hope it has a, a satisfying many conclusions, because I assume this has multiple endings, just like a... Well, it has to have multiple endings. We made choices. We've, we've been making choices. Both uh, obvious ones and uh, not so obvious ones. Rat Jam. I need to do. I need to figure out how to put the the better Twitch emotes in. That's, that should make that my goal this weekend. But already, let's oop, pop over here. Bit. There we go. Now play some. Some tunes, and we'll look for someone to raid. Since it is that time of night. Let's see. Oh, there's a few people on. Let's see. What are we feeling? Are we feeling some... Spooky Art? Or... Yume Nikki, maybe? Or Catherine? Thank you for the stream. No problem. I had so much fun, even though Silent Hill Homecoming didn't work out again. At least Layers of Fear is a great backup. It's a, a game I really do enjoy. And hopefully I can get Homecoming working. We, we will see. But... Saturday, we're definitely finishing... I'm, I'm almost... I'm guaranteeing we're finishing Cry of Fear on Saturday. And then... I'll probably poll... I mentioned it yesterday, but I'm gonna poll to find out what we're playing next Wednesday, since we finished Dead Space. Maybe we'll start Dead Space 2. But I'll let y'all decide. You have a good night too, mind. <laughs> I'm gonna crash. Get good rest. Have a good night. Let's see. So yeah, the ones I'm feeling right now... Catherine... Art or Yume Nikki. Does anyone have any any preferences? Any any game or or activity that, that speaks to you? Because I'm good with any of these. Ooh, there's also Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes. I have no idea what that is, but that sounds cool. Anything? Hmm. I always get... What is it called? There's a word for it, like decision paralysis or something. Like, whenever I have so many choices, I'm like, uh, I can't decide. Like, when you ask me what my favorite movie or video game is, and I'm like, staring blankly, the dial-up sounds play in my head, and I'm like, there's too many. I can't choose. Okay, raid. Hmm. Well, Catherine's pretty fun. Let's see what, what the art... How far along the art stuff is. Hmm. Ooh. It's a collab, too. Hey, Getty! Literally me at Taco Bell, because I don't know what I even want there. Yeah, Taco Bell. Well, I mean, at least with Taco Bell, everything at Taco Bell... I've said Taco Bell too many times. Um, is made with the same ingredients. <laughs> it's just pre all prepared differently. The quesarito. Just go with the quesarito. It's always good. Quesarito, add rice. Good shit. I'm still torn. Uh, 
spooky month and scary games. <laughs> Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. <laughs> I should add the Taco Bell bong to my sound alerts. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, there's also Jackbox happening over here. Hmm. Oh, I'm so torn. Why does it have to be so difficult? Why do, to, why do so many cool people have to be streaming at once? Okay, who haven't I rated in a bit? That's what that's what I'll have to use the logic for. I haven't rated Okta in a while. Let's rate Okta. Yeah. Because, uh, they're drawing spooky art. Alright. We're gonna rate Okta. We say Taco Bell enough times, but we go full Beetlejuice. Yes, we <laughs> Taco Juice. <laughs> we'll we'll summon a Taco Bell order right right to our door. That's that's like a more efficient than DoorDash. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you everybody for hanging out with me. You're all so wow. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're all so awesome. Um. But yeah, I'll see you all on Saturday, where we're going to finish up Cry of Fear. And then I'm going to have to figure out another game for next Saturday, then. I'll pull that, too, I think. Oh, the five-layer the, the five layer burrito is good. When they got rid of the quesarito, that was a good backup. But you can order the quesarito online now. Have a good night. Everybody stay hydrated, stay safe. Have sweet dreams. Have a good rest of your night or day. And... Y'all stay awesome. <laughs> oh, and if you're not already there, Discord and and Twitter. So I always forget to plug the Twitter because I, I'll admit I kind of neglect Twitter sometimes. I forget, but I'm I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> but all right, have a good night, everybody, or day. Bye. Play.